Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here again, and I apologise for my slightly uh, ramshackle appearance, but I've not long been back from EG Express, and I came back to see this. Yes, it's another My Retro Game Box. For anyone who doesn't know, My Retro Game Box is in fact a subscription service where you, you pay them some money, a subscription if you like, and they will send you every month a box full of retro games, and you never know what you're going to get. Having said that, you specify which consoles you have and what games you already own so you're not going to get a load of duplicates or a load of games you can't play, which is nice. When I saw this had arrived, I couldn't help it. I had to get the camera set up and I had to record. So without further ado, let's get unboxing, shall we? Right, here we go. First game. What have we got? Actually, no, no, no. I tell you what, I'm going to get them all out first and then I'm going to open them. Oh my god, I think this one's boxed as well. We'll just have to wait and see. Another one! Blimey, this feels really cold. It could have just been because... Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Oh, I've got something else in here as well. Jinx! A winner is you, 20% off your next order. Ah, some sort of clothing company or something like that. Some sort of, um... Yeah. I wonder if these are still made of potato. Yep, I'm sure they are. I'm not going to eat another one. If you want to see me do that, there'll be a... A link in the description to the previous video. So let's get cracking with the first game that I found. Well, took out of the box at least, found. Oh, it's a SNES game. Did feel like one. What is it? Desert Strike Return to the Gulf. I think I've heard of this one, but I'm not entirely sure. I've also just realized fixed focus, you probably wouldn't be able to see that in any clarity by putting it right up close there. Oh, it's an EA game. Old, old electronic arts, way before they became, um, well, interesting to say the least. Next one, I think. I'm very excited. Oh, what have we got this time? Oh, oh. I can see why it's boxed. I think, is it a me Oh, hang on a minute. US Gold? Oh, for a moment. US Gold, the publisher. The game is... Oh, it's Outrun! Would you believe it? That has just come out on the 3DS Outrun 3D. Or a 3D Classics or something like that. I just heard about it, one of my colleagues. Oh wow, I've heard I've heard great things about this game actually. And is this the Mega Drive or Master System? I'm um It looks like Master System. I'll have to crack it open. It looks like Master System because I must admit, I've never actually owned a Mega Drive. It is Master System. Oh, it's got the instruction manual and everything. Oh fantastic! I've never actually owned a Mega Drive, um, Genesis to the Americans, um, so I don't actually know what the boxes look like. I suppose it would probably say Mega Drive on the box, but I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, it's Outrun Europa. Oh, I thought it did look a bit different on the back, but then again, like I said, I've never played Outrun, so I wouldn't know. Oh, interesting. Mm, it's always interesting to get games you've never heard of before. Is this going to be... This feels like it could be another Master System game. Boxed. Come on. Oh, last one. Oh no. This is definitely a Mega Drive game because I've just seen the logo. What on earth have we got? Whack Shot starring Daffy Duck. Uh, D Daffy Duck. Donald Duck. That would be um, that would be an entirely separate company. Ah, so this is the first Mega Drive game I have ever owned, which is probably quite bad to be honest, but that's just how it is. Oh yeah, very different shape. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these. Quite small, in fact. Is it smaller than... Oh no, pretty much the same size. And the pins... Oh no, a bit longer. The contacts are a bit longer. Well, anyway, quick unboxing there, but what we really want to find out is are these games any good? So let's pop these bad boys in the Retron 5, courtesy of funstock.co.uk, and let's have a look, shall we? Desert Strike Return to the Gulf. Now this was an interesting game for me because I heard of it before but I'd never really played it and it was interesting to get my hands on it but I'd never actually seen anything to do with it before and it's a bit of a difficult game to get into. Considering the SNES controller's limitations, the controls are actually fairly lifelike for a helicopter meaning that it's actually very difficult to control but at least it's accurate. As you can probably tell from the footage, I was absolutely naff at this game. I really couldn't get my head around it. I tried it 
oh, I don't know, a good number of times, but couldn't quite get the hang of it. But I did enjoy what I played. Basically, you fly around in a helicopter and you have to fulfill certain objectives, mainly destroying stuff, but sometimes you've also got to save things. Considering this was on the SNES, this game is years ahead of its time and is really impressive technically. It's not really my kind of game, to be honest, but I can see why it is such a, a landmark on the SNES. So despite it not really being my thing, I can appreciate it on a deeper level, so I'm going to give this game a good hearty 8 out of 10. Now, Quackshot is easily the least difficult of the three games. You basically run around as Donald Duck and you use your plunger. There's no actual sort of killing of enemies. I mean, you sort of make them fly off the screen a bit if you use special weapons, but most of the time you're just stunning them. It's quite unique in many ways. It's sort of an adventure game similar to almost, almost a Metroidvania style game. You know, going to different areas, exploring, things like that. There's not a huge amount of exploration, but there's enough. The game's very pretty to look at and it emulates the Disney style really rather well. And it's a lot of fun actually, it's a bit simple, particularly for the time I imagine this would be considered really quite an easy game. But I don't know, I had a lot of fun with it. It's not complicated, it's not trying too hard, it's just a good, honest, fun little game. And for that reason, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Now, Outrun Europa. <laughs> this is a really, really difficult game, to be honest with you. I had real difficulty getting into it, and I think mainly due to the limitations of the Master System. Having said that, considering it is on the Master System, it's very technically impressive. The sprites are nice and big and bold, and considering it's the Master System, you can sort of generally see what's coming, but at the end of the day, it is still quite difficult to see what's coming in front of you as you speed down the motorway. The basic premise of the game is somebody's nicked your car and you have to hop on various vehicles to try and catch them and get your car back. And as you can probably tell from the footage, I couldn't get any of the other vehicles because I was so pants at the game I couldn't get past the first level. This certainly wasn't for lack of trying, but if you muck up once, you know, you get caught behind a police car or you lose all of your oddly named shield or anything like that, then you it's game over. You only get one attempt, which is kind of brutal, but by modern standards at least. It's a relatively simple game, but it's got a lot of technical chutz power behind it, and it was actually an awful lot of fun to play, and it was really, really impressive for the Master System. I really could... Ha I had to remind myself that this was running on an 8-bit console. I had a lot of fun with the game, and I want to judge it fairly rather than against modern standards, so I think I'm going to give this game a 7 out of 10. It's a really solid effort, and I like the fact that it's set in Europe. So there you have it, three more games I've never played before and finally got a chance to play. Retro gaming is something that I really, really enjoy and so I'm happy to get my hands on any games. Thank you Funstock again for supplying the Retro on Fire, otherwise we wouldn't be able to get you this fantastic quality footage using the original cartridges. And if you head over to Funstock now and use this code along here, my hands probably aren't even lined up with it, lovely people 5 but without the vowels, you can get yourself a nice lovely little 5% off for being one of my lovely people. Thank you to my Retro Game Box who sent the box over. It's always a privilege to play these fantastic little games. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, why don't you find that subscribe button and dash it with some retro goodness. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>